Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be doing a tackle room review. So this is all of our fishing stuff that me, my grandpa, my brother, my dad, and all of us share. So let's get into it. So first we got our tackle bag. We bring this with us everywhere. I think it's a Shakespeare tackle bag. Really nice. Custom fly box. All of my flies inside of there. Got some popper, crawdad, all types of woolly buggers. That's the one that I made in the video that I showed you. I will link it up there in the description. Not in the description, in the... I will link that to the video. Nymphs, some dry flies, little tiny midges. Uh, Clouser minnow, I also have another video of that up there. That's that. These are my grandpa's too. He likes to keep his flies secret. And I got my soft plastics. This is our Mr. Twister's great for uh, bass love like these. Bluegill crappie. They love them. Two different kinds. Yum Christy Craw. Great little lure. Have it in PB and J color. Really, really good bait to use in case you're in a creek. Uh, Gary Yamato's Gary Yamamoto uh, Senkos. They are, I think, the four-inch versions. Nice to use. Yum craw chunks. These work really well. These are in crawdad color. They catch everything. I've caught a few green sunfish on them. They were and some largemouth and some smallmouth bass. Five inch Senkos, Gary Yamamoto. These are green pumpkin. Yeah, green pumpkin with a purple fleck. Five inch. Not used them yet. Just got them brand new. Got some other ones. Got the Zoom Old Monster in June bug color. Ten and a half inches. I got this in a grab bag of lures, I'm pretty sure. Really nice. Got some. Purple, Gary Yamamoto's 5-inch sink, 5-inch sink goes again. Really nice little lure. Then, let's throw you back up there. And that's how I would rig it. I'm, I think that's like a 5 aught offset circle. Reaction Innovations uh, trailer. Really nice. And then I got some extras over there. Let's get into the actual... Oh, one more thing. Berkeley Powerbait Power Worm. These work really well. I've caught a few bass on them. Seem like your average worm. Seven inches. Good enough for our lake. So now, let's get into the tackle part. Right now, there's a Booyah Boo Frog Jr., I'm pretty sure. I think it's something like that. Uh, I've trimmed the skirt down. It's, it's one of the best modifications that you can do for a frog. I've also turned the hooks up, up and out a little bit. You can see that they're not like right hooked to the body. We don't have a lot of vegetation around our lake. Got a few spinners. I got a spinner right here, another spinner right there. Got a pre-rigged, uh, all the leaders wrapped around the hook, so you can't really see it that well. Pre-rigged catfish rig, giant eight dot hook. I don't know when I'm going to use that. Offset hook. Head and torpedo. Got this at Bass Pro on sale. Head and torpedo leopard frog. I haven't tried this one yet. Need to try it. Z-Man original chatterbait. With, I have a, I think this is a Bass Pro. Uh, so, Paddle tail swim bait. Works really nice. Z-Man chatterbait. Not used it this year. A lot of this stuff I bought over the winter. Can't wait. Action. It's really nice on it. I've used it once actually this winter. Only to test it to make sure that it actually worked. I always do that with my lures for some reason. Whopper Plopper 75. Seen great reviews of this online. Bought this a few, probably like a week or two ago. To get ready for the spring. Rapala Countdown and Rapala Husky Jerk. That's the Husky Jerk on top and perch. 
and the countdown is on the bottom with the, I think, golden shad color, I'm pretty sure. Really nice. Nice little swim bait. Nice little mm, trick baits. Savage Gear Bluegill. Nice. Three, I think it actually might be Live Target, not Savage Gear. But it has a really nice action to it. Giant, I think, 6-inch. Not giant, just very, very chunky. Has some nice action to it. Can we use that this spring? Rebel Popper over there. 13 Fishing Scamp 2.5. Use this one once. Very loud. Very loud. Got the graphite lip to help keep weight down so it's a little bit more buoyant. Very nice one. Rapala Scatter Wrap. Not use this one. It's the Scatter Wrap Countdown version. Haven't used this one yet, but can't wait to. Got an unnamed uh, Deep Diver. Let's go ahead and undo you from there. Um, Strike King Red Eye Shad. This is one of the baits that I've been that I threw all of last summer. Caught probably at least four dozen bass on it. Probably one of the most productive lures I used all this summer. Not the loudest compared to the scamp. The scamp is the loudest one that I have. But this is one of that's one of my favorite lures. On the opposite end of the spectrum, you got the Strike King Bitsy Minnow. Super super tiny little crankbait. Probably yeah. Only dives to about foot. But I've caught so many fish on there. I also have Rebel Crick Hopper and an unnamed bait, an uh, unnamed micro crankbait. Can't remember what it's called. All of those have been very productive for me. Now I got extra swim baits already pre rigged down there. So I'm just gonna close you. This is my grandpa's stuff. I don't want to go through his stuff. This is my other bo box of stuff. So I got. Here I got. Yum Craw Trunk pre pre rigged on a Ned Rig. Same with the Christy Craw. Not two more reaction innovation uh, trailers. Bullet weights, tiny hooks, and a rubber cricket. I guess. What the heck are we stuck in? Okay. Rapala Scatter Wrap. Another one. This is just the regular Scatter Wrap Shad. Not the countdown version. Then I've got Whopper Popper 90. Just a bigger version of the 75. Don't have a 110 because that's too big for a lake. More of those, uh. Bleh. More of those, like, uh. Power Tail Swim Baits from Bass Pro. Uh. I think. Little, little spinnerbait guy. Chartreuse and white, clear. Attract attention in murky water. Rapala DT6. Used this a couple of times. Pretty productive for me. I caught a few fish on it. Uh, pork, pork rinds tr trailer. Some hooks that I found really interesting were these. Are you away? <laughs> were these uh, trapper think Trapper Innovations hooks. Very interesting look to them. Supposedly what they're supposed to do is that when you when the fish hooks on, very sharp hook point, it, instead of going all the way up to the hook and getting off, slip off, it gets trapped in there. So that when you, as you're reeling in, it just... Instead of... Go, let's use the... This guy as an example. Instead of going all the way up the hook and then being able to rip out it get it will get stuck in that bend and preferably in the side of the mouth. So that's that for him. Extra all these extras that I probably will never use. Old baits of all kinds. Got random spinner in here. Some weird cicada lure. These are just random baits. 
I got this one with the grab box as well, a mag lip, I'm pretty sure. Pretty loud, it needs dives to 16 feet. Our lake doesn't even, no one in our lake will probably eat that, it's meant for salmon. Got some spoons, extra bobbers in case my brother needs them. That's it for that one. Then the final box out in the bag, got my buzz baits and spinner baits. This one's got caught in here. No, don't get caught. There we go. So I got buzz baits, two different kinds of spinner baits. I got a another one of you in there for some reason. Got two all these different lures. Small tiny Ned rig. Probably gonna be using that. More of these reaction innovations, uh, worms. I don't know what this is for. Can't remember. Young crotch hunt, that's what it was. Texas rigged, uh, Gary Yamato. Yam Yamato. This, I'll just use this. Like, that'll just... Really nice action on these guys. As they fall through the water, they have a very slight shiver in the tail. And if you jerk it, it goes... It kind of, like, jumps. That works pretty well. And that's it for the tackle box. So I'm going to put these guys back. And we shall continue. Always putting them like that. Grandpa's extra stuff. Yeah. My extra baits. You two go on top. And that is it for lures. There, okay. So now, for catfish fishing, got ADOT, Octopus Circle Hooks, uh, Gamma Katsu, Gamma Katsu, Gamma Katsu Hooks. Big Cat Circles, 3 out for small kitties. Uh, and then... Just regular octopus hooks, 5 aught, just regular hooks. So that's good. Got some old strand line. I don't, I'll just use, I'll just throw this on a random one. Berkeley Trialing 40 pound. I bought this as a, I got this as a birthday gift from someone. Can't remember. It's been ripped up. Use this as a leader for my catfish rigs. I don't know why. It's just so heavy and thick line. Berkeley Trialing Cold Weather. Put that. On one of my old uh, push button spin cast, just in case I need ice fishing. The ball bearing swivels for catfish stuff and a rea another reaction innovations uh, June bug color little trailer thing. And that's all for that part. All the stuff in, in these tackle boxes are my grandparents and my dad's. This one's now my brother's. So that. This one is my grandpa's. That one is now my brother's. That one is my dad's. Got these uh, ex fishman skirts. These will work. Those work nice. Now let's get to rods. So my first rod, as you can see, so my first rod, as you can see is the Shakespeare Wild Series Walleye Combo. Pretty cheap, probably about 70 bucks for the whole thing. Really dirt cheap and it works really nice. I put on some eight pound mono, ripped off my leader. I think it's a 17 pound floral leader so that I get a little bit faster sink rate. Have on a little boo uh, Booyah Boo Jig with the Young Craw Trunk trailer. Use that a couple of times, it's really nice. Got my, when we go down to Gulf Shores, let me go fishing down there. We use this uh, Mako uh, Hurricane Mako rod. Has composite blank, nice design to it, very strong bend resistance. Put on some, I think, like 20 pound line on that. Then we've got my new bait cast comp, my bait new bait caster. I'm a beginner at bait cast. I'm a beginner at bait casting. So I've got Yozuri uh, Super Braid, 50 pound test. 
I'll be Garcia Black Max, as expected. Then, Shakespeare Ugly Stick GX2 con uh, Spinning Rod. Six foot ac medium action. Probably need a, it's actually medium heavy. They just didn't do it right when they recorded it. Also got on the uh, Strike King. Strike King KVD spinner bait. I've used this a lot. It works really nicely for all of what I do. Put on one of the trailer and that actually increased my hookup ratio. Because the blades, they always get bit by the bass and not the actual things. If the, if the blades are creating the attraction like that, but then the fish actually see the, the actual bait... They'll want to go for the bait more because then they notice that it's actually more relative to a fish than, like, just some flashy show-off part. So that goes right back over there. Now we go over here. So we've got this little combo right here. South Bend Raven High Modulus Graphite Rod. Uh... Six foot six medium action. Put on some eight pound mono as well. Nice little reel, I think. I don't know what brand is. Not champion. I don't know. South Bend. South Bend rain. I don't know what that is. Really nice reel, pretty smooth. Not too bad. Now as my catfish fishing reel it is a lot bigger because I went too big. And that just kind of, uh, yeah, did that. This is my grandpa's ultralight crappie spinning outfit. I think it's a five-foot rod gander mountain vortex. Ultralight. Very whippy. Rio is an old, uh, C uh Shimano Sienna FE 1000 one FE. Works really nice. It's just kind of, a. Uh, Sometimes it'll break down, lines broken, off. But he's used it so many times. He's had it for over six years. I'm pretty sure he got the he got the rod when Gander was going out. Tips broken off so many times. But it is one of the most like probably one of the most loved rods in here. This is a this was my first starting rod. Zebco Omega 181. I used that till it dead. Until it died. I use this all the time. I use it all the time. Sometimes if I'm just bored, I'll go out and use it. It's a Zebco rod. This is a Zebco 4'6 ultralight rod. Zebco Synergy. Oh, no, Shakespeare Synergy. Real, pretty nice little reel. That's. Huh? I use this in case I just want to go for bluegill or crappie. I'll use that. Pretty nice little reel. And then now on to oh yeah, more line. I have more line. Bullet weights, uh, five sixteenth ounce. You'll see me use these in a later video. Berkeley Vanish uh, seventeen pound fluoro. I use that for my leaders. Spider wire six pound ultimate mono, ultra crest ultimate mono. This works really nice. Let me wrap it back up. Works really nice. Not a lot of issues with it. Put that on my Zebco Omega that I have. So back there. This pocket got two different things. Yozuri Super Braid Eight. A little bit thinner than your regular super braids instead of like I don't know. Really nice. Put that on the uh it's camo color, I put it out on, on black max. Z uh Gander Mountain eight pound six hundred sixty yard. That's what I have on my other two rods. This guy right here, that guy over there, the gold one, and this guy. So he works good. So those work work good. And that's that's the tackle room. 
make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. Once all the water, all, once the lake thaws out, I should be able to go outside and get some nice footage. Can't wait. I'll show, I'll link my video, my other videos down in the description. And uh, see you later, fishing friends.